here I am again. You know what? I found this interesting um, article that I have not pre-read, and I need to start pre-reading -read and practicing, so I won't be stumbling over these words and stuff. But I had wanted to, and I haven't read it yet, but I thought the title was interesting. So can I share this with you? It's all about unlocking the secret of your quantum clairvoyance. I thought that was interesting. By wisdom teacher, Sri Ram Ka, and angelic oracle, Kyra Ra. Anyway, um, Star Trek, Star Wars, Stargate, you. What if you knew it wasn't all completely a myth? What if you all, all allowed yourself the recognition that you are on a galactic mission? What if this journey began eons ago, expanded through millennia, and is ready to go into hyperdrive? Are you ready to fully awake from the dream? Ready or not, you are awakening up, okay? Regardless of what you may believe, you want to be on this side. It is the reason you are here. It is why you are on this specific planet at this moment in history. As we rapidly approach the year 2012, there has been a notable shift in how we view our world, our future, and ourselves. This shift has tangible components as well as those that are not so tangible. For example, do any of the following apply to you? Experiencing changes in your sleep patterns, feeling a sense of time speeding up and or a lack of time. Hmm. Have your relationships shifted often without good reason? Do you feel a strong sense that something big is about to happen in our world and you are not quite sure what it is or what you can do about it. These and other energetic experiences are calling you to awaken your greater extended clairvoyant capability with presence, responsibility, and spiritual maturity. As our, as our world continues to evolve in extraordinary ways, the simple truth is that you are evolving too, okay? With each moment that we breathe, we are in integrating the quantum expansion of our universe on all levels. This rapid adjustment to never before experienced energy most times will initially result in the feeling of chaos or a lack of clarity. For many, this has blossomed into fully anchored self-doubt or unusual heightened states of awareness that are often misinterpreted and can lead to greater fear. By fully embracing our authentic, potential without doubt and accepting that this gift is the bright the bright right of every individual to clearly understand their life and its meaning we quickly become profoundly abundant in all ways what is quantum clairvoyance it is the deep unwavering connection gained through the experience of our explained consciousness without self-doubt this applies to everything without limits. Through the empowerment of our quantum clairvoyance, we discover and fully trust that all answers are within us. I, I'm telling you guys, everything you want to know is already in you. You can ask yourself. Imagine your life in this moment without any self-doubt. What would you do? How would you do it? Are you able to ask this question without doubt? What is the answer you receive when you ask yourself, why am I here? And I would like to hear a lot of comments on that. Why are you here? Ask yourself that and find out what you will tell yourself. Have you ever heard of, of or experienced what is referred to as a mother's intuition? Most likely, you have also heard the stories of those who knew a loved one was in trouble even when they were hundreds or thousands of miles away or the phone rings and you just know who it is before you pick it up each of these so-called coincidences are definitive uh, moments when you have consciously or subconsciously connected to your quantum clairvoyant stream of energy for those of you who already know this is true and have already developed this awareness, it is an important time for you to become responsible with how you share this energy so that your mere presence will free others to do the same. Not your words, your presence. A significant and important distinction. 
As we all mature and our world enters the era of spiritual responsibility, it is up to each individual. And they say, in da vid, you will. And that's the way they pronounce it. To be fully aware that clairvoyant gifts often develop and carry with them responsibility that should be shared to discernment, thereby not disempowering another. For example, I was recently a guest at a weekend gathering hosted by enlightened individuals. Hmm, wish that could have been there. I watched as one of the guests who regularly gives readings would casually disclose with great authority what he saw as near future outcomes around others. Then he would just walk out of the room. After leaving, those who received the information would begin reacting and formulating their lives based around these off-handed remarks taken as absolute truth. This is the most common example of non-quantum clairvoyance. In this example, we see the old model of seer-receiver at play. When we chose Oh, I'm sorry. When we choose quantum clairvoyance, we no longer impose our clarity on others, hmm. even when asked. Instead, we recognize that we are at the moment in our amazing history to empower each other to find their clarity without doubt. As responsible readers empowering our quantum clairvoyance, we do this by encouraging self-inquiry, empowering self-trust, and offering reassurance. Hmm. Interesting. In the world of quantum shift, we become the gift of the presence and lovingly discover that each is having their unique and perfect experience at every moment. Through this divine understanding, we once again claim ourselves and therefore reclaim our world. Interesting. I just wanted to share that with you because, I mean, that's, um, that's, some, that's, a, that's some information right there. Yes, y'all, we are fixing getting ready. To, we are fixing to get ready to do it. Yes, we are. And y'all know what we're fixing to get ready to do. All of you fellow light workers out there, let's get it together. Let's turn the lights on. Okay? So be back in just a second because we have a voodoo session coming up. Okay. <laughs> 